Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the camera app on the iPad 9th generation. So let's open up the camera and we'll be starting off with the photo. So you can see at the left there is the zoom. If you tap on it, it will set it to two times. Tap on it again, it will set it to one times. If you long press on the one times, you can swipe up and down to set a custom zoom level. You can see right here, you can go up to five times and go as low as one times. Next, if we look at the top right, there is a live photos button. If we tap on it, you can see live photos is on. Let's take a live photo and let's take a look what it does. So it will take a regular photo and then it'll record three seconds of video and you can view either or. So let's open up the photos app to take a look. So by default, you can see the regular photo. However, if you long press on it, you can see it will show a couple of seconds of video right here. And that's pretty cool. So you can either have this on or off. If we turn this off, it will just capture the photo. As you can see, there's the photo. By long press, there's no video. Next, we have the timer. So this will give you a time down before the uh, picture is taken. So if we set this to 10 seconds, you can see it will do a countdown. If you tap on the same shutter button, it will stop the timer. And you can also switch between the toggle. So three seconds and 10 seconds. There's no other way to like set five seconds, etc. You're only given the ones you have. Let's move to the flip camera. So this will just flip the camera. So you can see I'm now in portrait and I'm in landscape by just tapping that button. Next, let's just go to video. So you can customize the video settings by just going into settings, camera, and you see right here, record video. You can change the quality settings, 720p, 1080p at 30 FPS, or 1080p at 60 FPS. So what I recommend you do is you also go to format. If you plan on sharing your videos to a Windows computer, set this to most compatible, Otherwise, keep it at high efficiency because high efficiency only supports iOS and macOS devices. Same with iPhones as well. If you're planning on sharing this to a Windows computer, etc., any recordings you make, you will need to set that to most compatible. Otherwise, the video will not play. So let's just go to the camera again, to the video, and you can see the preview is the aspect ratio of the iPad. However, when you do a recording, the recording is going to be done in 16 by 9, you can see right here. So in order to see what you're actually recording, just double tap on the empty space and you will see right here, we now have a viewfinder which actually shows what we are recording. You can also just tap on uh, certain objects and it will autofocus. If you swipe up and down, it will change the brightness uh, uh, toggle. You can also do this in the photos area as well and also all other areas of the camera app. So you can start recording for a couple of seconds and then stop and you can see the preview right here keep in mind you cannot pause the recording while you started it's either start or stop and also you can't change the uh you know which camera you're using while mid recording as well then we have slow motion so you cannot change the frame rate inside the settings but what this will do is it will record a video and it will slow it down so just record a couple of seconds let's take a look so you can see the first couple of seconds are regular motion then it goes to slow motion well, if you want the full video to be slow motion, just tap on edit, and you see the bottom, this part shows the slow motion, this part shows the fast motion. Just swipe this little white bar to the right and the left, and what that will do, if I can actually grab it, is it will make the entire video slow motion. So we'll just tap on done, play, and you can see the full video is in slow motion. Next, let's move to the time lapse. So what this will do is it will do a fast recording, you know, slow motion slows down the video, Time lapse speeds up the video. So just record a couple of seconds, etc. Stop it. And you can see, boom, it just speeds up the recording. There's no way to customize, you know, the frame rate, all that good stuff. Let's just keep that in mind. If I flip the camera, you can see we'll also flip that as well. However, mid recording, you are unable to uh, flip the cameras. So just keep that in mind. Next, move down to the square. So the square will basically record in a uh, one by one aspect ratio if you want to do that. And all the toggles as well are the same for the regular photo. Then you have panorama. This will take a really wide photo. So just tap on the shutter. And you just want to move the iPad. Keep it still. And you'll be able to see this right here. And don't move it too quickly. And you basically just want to move it across and you'll create a panorama. I'm going to stop it early. And you can see this is what it's taken. So you do need to be pretty still. Otherwise you have like more thing like that. And that doesn't look great. Finally, there are some other settings as well. So we have the grid, we can turn that on. If we turn on the grid, you can see while taking a photo, there is just a grid preview, useful if you want it on or off. And the mirror front camera will essentially just flip the camera uh, on the front. So let's say you prefer selfies uh, looking like, you know, a mirror, then there you go, you can do that as well. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe for brand new, 
Check out the players you see on the end screens right now for a bunch of tips and tricks on the iPad 9. If you do not see the end screen, just check out the playlist in the description down below. There are a bunch of tips and tricks there I guarantee you will not know. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.